I'm Effie and this is What Effie Reads. Uh, apparently my camera's wonky. Give me a sec. That's straight. I don't know. It looks kind of not straight but it also looks kind of straight. I don't know. Is anything straight when it comes to me? Um, so today I'm going to be filming the Moody Reader Tour, Moody Book Tag, which was created by Slanted Spines. I will link them in the description. The first question is, do you consider yourself to be a mood reader? And yes, I, I very much like, I like to pick up whatever I fancy picking up. At that moment, I have recently started doing a TBR game, which is a lot of fun, but I'm still trying to find the balance between kind of having a TBR to give me a bit of structure and also like it's fun having a TBR game, but also having the flexibility to pick up books that I really want to read in the moment. But even so, like at the moment, my TBR game is giving me like eight books minimum a month which gives me some flexibility to be like well I'm in the mood for this so I'll pick this one up but yeah long story short I am a mood reader the second question is do you do TBR lists and do you stick to them as I've already mentioned I actually have a TBR game I I'm now into my third month of my TBR game the first month I failed dramatically, the second month I sort of succeeded but it's a long story um, and then who knows how I'll go this month. I think generally I do kind of set myself little TBRs even before I had my TBR game but also I'm not great at sticking to them. I'm hoping that once I find the balance with my TBR game, I will actually be able to stick to a TBR. The next question is, do books affect you emotionally and does the mood of the book rub off on you? I would say that I do feel like emotions quite deeply when I'm reading books. Like I've had books make me laugh out loud, laugh out loud in public. I've had them make me cry also in public. But I also think that generally books don't actually like rub off on me emotionally. There, obviously there's, there's triggers that, you know, I try to avoid because they're going to have an impact on me. But otherwise it's very much a case of when a book's done, it's done and I... I feel like the moments that impacted me from the book will stay with me but the book isn't going to have an impact on me. The next question is when you're feeling sad what do you read or do you read when you're feeling sad? Um. Well I mean I've got chronic depression so I'm always kind of baseline sad. <laughs> But I I definitely like to be able to escape when I'm feeling sad. I think I like things that are a lot more fantastical when I'm feeling sad, but also I kind of like a dystopia. Like, <laughs> it's horrible, but like, it's almost like I like to know just how much worse things are. Like, especially living in the middle of a pandemic right now like I need to see an apocalypse but I'm I'm basically always reading so I read when I'm happy I read when I'm sad I read when I'm mad you know I'll I'll always be reading I'm not sure that I would necessarily tailor what I was reading or consciously tailor what I was reading but I do like you know magic swords and sorceries kind of thing if I'm feeling 
despair at the world. The next question is, most often do you read to escape or do you read to critically reflect? I would say that I lean more into fiction and kind of escapist fiction, but I do also have, like, I do also enjoy non-fiction, so a little bit of both, like, the scales are definitely tipped in favour of escapist fiction, but I do also read to critically reflect because I love learning. The next question is, what is a book that made you laugh out loud? Um, I'm not really sure because I, I prefer books that make me sad, which is completely bizarre, a thing to realise, but I do much prefer like a sad book. So I'm not sure. I'm sure there was something that made me laugh out loud recently and I just can't remember. I've just had a look through all the books that I've read recently and I can't pinpoint any of them that made me laugh. Um, so, pass. The next question is a book that made you cry and there's so, so many books that made me cry. Um, the last book that made me cry was my best friend's exorcism so i'll just go with that one so that was by grady hendrix and i was walking down the street like listening to it on audio book and i just like got tears in my eyes at the end of it the next question is uh what is a book that you didn't know how you felt about it um I'm going to go with the book that I'm currently reading, which is Say Her Name by Juno Dawson. I, yeah, I'm just not sure how I'm feeling about it, to be honest. It's kind of horrorish, but also it's really YA, so I don't know. I don't know what I think about it, really. The next question is, are you more likely to read on a sunny day or a cloudy day? And quite simply, I'm likely to read on any day that ends in day. The next question is, do you set the mood when you read? Are you with lights, candles, that kind of thing? Um, not really. I mean, be probably partially because I'm pretty much always reading. So I don't really set the mood. Like, sometimes I like to stick a candle on, but I'm not big on candles either. So... Like, I like to get cosy. That's about it. Like, I quite enjoy, like, sitting on my sofa with a blanket and just, like, snuggling in. But also, like, my library's lovely, so I'd like to read in here more. And I'd hope to get, like, an armchair or a beanbag or something so I could read in here more. The next question is, can you leap from book to book or do you need a bit of buffer time between them? Um, sort of, I often have multiple books on it, uh, I'm often reading multiple books at the same time and I can jump between them but if I somehow manage to get to a point where I've managed to read all of the books that I've got going on, I find it really difficult to pick something completely fresh. It's it's a weird one because I don't know why I can jump from book to book to book when I'm reading simultaneously, but I can't finish every book I'm reading simultaneously and then like jump straight into something completely fresh. I don't know. And that is all of the questions. So thank you to Slanted Spines for putting together this tag and until next time. Bye.